Hello everybody, welcome back or welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Hannah. Um, but yeah, this is my updated makeup tutorial. I know a lot of you guys have been asking. Uh, let's get into the video. Everyone, I'm here with a fresh face and I'm going to start by putting my hair back and getting it out of the way. Okay, so first things first, our face is washed. It's been moisturized, okay? You can really use any drugstore primer. I really like the Elf Pretty Primer. I like the NYX Marshmallow Primer. Um, the one that I currently have is the Forever Glow Veil D. So I'm just going to play it with my fingers. Just gonna get a nice layer going. I'm also gonna make sure I get it on my eyelids. Now that we have a nice little base primer, I'm gonna let that sit for a second. Well, I prep my foundation. And yes, I've been wearing foundation. I've evolved. Today I'm gonna be going in with the Dior Forever Skin Glow Foundation. I don't know the shade for sure, but I do know it's the lightest shade that they have. <laughs> Cause I'm a pale bitch, okay? So I'm gonna start by putting a little on my hand. I usually put it on the back of my hand. I wasn't thinking. Taking the edge of my brush, getting some on there, and just kind of swiping it across my face to get a nice thin layer going. Ever since I've been using foundation, I'm getting that, you know, clear base. So I'm gonna just pat it down really quick with Beauty Blender just to make sure. We got no weird little clumpy bits. Foundation's on. Now, the concealer that I've been using recently is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the lightest shade that they have, which is I don't know how it's supposed to be said. Yup. I'm just gonna go in. I'm just gonna go in. You can layer shit on if, if you're just like staying inside and being in front of a camera because more dramatic makeup will show up in front of a camera a lot better than just like spot concealing. Take a look at that base. Take a look at that base. And y'all already saw I have hella acne scars. I have so many acne scars right now. I make sure to bring my um, concealer up on my eyelids too. Now that we can see no facial feature on our face and we're just this blank, scary look, uh, I'm gonna go in with my contour. And I'm gonna be using the Fenty Beauty little contour stick in the shade Mocha. But yeah, I just go kind of here, you know, by the side of my face, tip of the nose, under the nose, over here, over here, uh, a little bit of a, a surround kind of. My lips are so gross right now. <laughs> um, I just blended out. I'm gonna be taking this Sephora Contouring 78 brush. Uh, I'm just kind of starting where I started with the stick, blending it out. Not really like swiping as much as I am, just kind of patting it and like moving it a little. And it's more so that I just have all my acne scars on this part of my face. So if I do go swiping it around, it's gonna like move the foundation and concealer that I already have down. I'm just going in here, blending all this out. Make sure you get this into your hairline. This is our contour all blended. I'm gonna go this makeup off. I'm gonna take this Fabrio, hello, my Melody lip balm. I'm gonna go back in with the NARS concealer really quick and I'm just gonna do a little line down my nose to just highlight the tip of it after that contour. 
looks great. Now I'm gonna go in with the Laura Mercier translucent set tra translucent setting powder, and I'm just gonna sprinkle some of it into the cap here. Then I take this fluffy brush that I have. I don't know how it is, and I'm just gonna. I'll show you. I put the top of it in here, I tap it a little bit, and then I'm gonna tap it off on my sink. Get some of that excess off, and then I'm gonna start, I'm just kind of press it underneath my eyes first, because I feel like that's the most important part of your face to set. You don't wanna over powder your face, you don't wanna, you know, make it too dry. I especially like to focus the powder around my brows because I draw, you know, outside of the bounds a lot. I use a pencil for my eyebrows and so if you leave that area without fully being set, uh, your eyebrows just gonna slip and slide around and it's not gonna be a fun time. This looks like a good set. Okay, awesome. For blush, I use the Animal Crossing Flower Tender Blush from ColourPop. You can probably get this on eBay. I don't think they sell it anymore, so I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out. I don't wanna think about it. Anyways, I just take this like fluffy brush. This is from, it's probably a Morphe brush. Um, just take a little bit on there, and I like to put it like in the middle here. I like not to bring it too far on this side. I used to. Like a little a little placement of the blush is, is very cute. Yeah. Put a little bit on the tip of my nose over here on the top of it. A little bit on the lips. A little bit on the eyelids. You know, tie the whole look together. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people have asked how to do the freckles that I do. So this is a very important part of the makeup tutorial. This is the L'Oreal Micro Ink Pen by Brow Stylist. This is what I use. This is the tip. So I'm gonna show you real quick how I do this. So I take my index finger, okay? And basically I'm just going to tap. All these little dots. And now I'm going to just stamp them on with my finger. Okay, that didn't work very well. Hold on, let me just, it's cause I was showing you guys. Just tap a ton and then stamp. I like to go in a circular motion. If you see that, it's like little circles. I feel like that gives them a more natural look than just, you know, drawing a grid of, of freckles. I like to put them starting at where I put my little contour line on my nose up to kind of here on the top of my nose. And then I also bring them out to under my eyes. I like putting them specifically under my eyes on my eye bags because I feel like it helps um, hide them. It's nothing crazy, they're pretty natural. They're definitely a lot more natural than um, the old way I used to do freckles, which was with a Crayola marker, if you remember that. Best thing you can do with makeup is take your time. Unless, you know, you're like holding people up, then you know, maybe that's not great. I also like going in with the pen itself and just putting little dots specifically where I think there's little gaps that need a bit of extra coverage. Um, and then just tapping them so that the opacity of them, um, you know, it's a little lower. After freckles, I'm gonna do my brows. I usually use one of these, the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. Either in the shade 5 or 4.5, but I broke mine yesterday that I got. So I'm gonna be using the NYX Professional Makeup Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. So to do brows, I start at the top of my natural brow. 
You just start drawing a line. You do little strokes. You don't just like draw a line, you know. You do light strokes and increase the opacity once you like know for sure where it is. I'm gonna just drag out that line a little. I'm gonna go under my brow. Start drawing a line there. And then connect these two lines. And then I'm gonna go here in the front and I'm just gonna draw a little brow here. And also fill in the middle parts with the pencil. Yeah. So it should end up something like this. I brush out the front parts or any parts that, you know, ended up darker than I wanted. Brush it out with the, with the little brush at the end. A little spoolie. That's how I do a brow. And then I'm going to do the side. Okay. It's kind of what the brows are looking like. I'm trying to even them out right now. Kind of a little bit of a point at the end. I'm going to go in with the same eyebrow pencil and I just like putting these little molds on my face. I do this every day. I don't know why. I put one kind of under my eye up here. I'll make sure that the pencils, you know, rolled out a little bit. Stick, doing a little dot, and then twisting, and then we have these cute little balls. Anyways, I think it's time for eyeliner. I'm kind of scared. It doesn't end up perfect every single time that I do it. It doesn't matter how long you do eyeliner, it's never gonna work perfect unless you're like Ariana Grande, I guess, because she just like, swipes it. Um, it's not that easy for some of us. This is the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Liner. This is the skinny version in the shade Ultra Black. I usually just get the regular version. I got this one on accident, but I did it yesterday, or I used it yesterday, and it actually worked pretty well. So I'm not mad about it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at the corner of my eye. Not under it like I used to. I'm gonna start at the corner of it. I'm gonna turn my face to the side so I'm looking at this plane of my face in the mirror. And I'm just going to draw a line out. Okay? Now I'm gonna go on the other side. We're gonna do a little bit of a, a little bit on here, a little bit on this side, kind of back and forth action to make sure that they stay as even as they possibly can. Your eyeliner won't be even. That's okay. Don't worry about it. Nobody cares. Probably. Um, but I'm going to look straight in the mirror. And then copy the other one. Okay. Usually I like having my arms on something. I'm not going to do that. So it might be a little messy. So hold on. Draw a line out from the edge. Once I get to my eyelid, as you can see, it's gonna get a little tricky. So, I'm gonna open my eye like this. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna start filling it in. Here's one side of it. I do thicker eyeliner if I'm wearing lashes with it. I wouldn't do as thick of an eyeliner if I was wearing like a like thinner pair of lashes, something that wasn't as big. I'm using these today. So they're going to be covering, you know, a good amount of the eyeliner. I do a thinner liner that doesn't, you know, go over my crease as much if I'm just doing a, a non-lash look, if that makes sense. I'm gonna do the other side. Okay, I got a little bit of it on my eyelid, but other than that, I think it looks pretty okay. I'm gonna try and get this little notch off. Okay, I got it off, okay. I'm gonna go back in with the eyeliner. I 
But yeah, that's the eyeliner for today. I do my eyeliner different every day, I'll be honest, okay? I change it up, but I think this is what I'm going for today. Turned out how I wanted it to. Thank God. <laughs> As my makeup gets darker and more intense, I find my eyebrows start to look lighter. You know, so I like darkening them up just so that they match the look a little more. Um, so I'm gonna take this on a Starship Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette and this angled paintbrush that I'm using as a makeup brush. And I'm gonna start kind of in the middle of my eyebrow and just apply the shadow. I'm just mixing the shades Cypress Umber and Noir, which are the darkest brown and black shade in the palette. Five hours later. This is my favorite brush. This is the Morphe M224. The bronze is just broken up in my drawer. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. So I'm just gonna dip this little brush in the little, little bits of gross dust in my drawer. It's the Avani Greg bronzer. But I get it on this brush and I just kinda Put some of my cupid's bow to round it out. And then some kind of on the innermost part of my lip on the bottom to accentuate it. I'm gonna take the same shade and brush and just use that to make the nose contour a little more precise. Just blend it out with my finger, like so. I'm also gonna take that same shade and put it under my eye here. Kind of blending my eyeliner into my lash line. Just putting a little shadow down there. Just adding a little bit of shadow under the eye. Like so. I'm gonna go in with my mascara. I don't curl my lashes just because I don't wear them like bare, you know, I put lashes on top of them. So I really just like to build up my lashes until they're pretty solid, you know, and sturdy so that I can place something on top of them and they won't just like, you know, fall, <laughs> I guess. So we're just kind of going and blink with it. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes. I kind of draw my own bottom lashes on. I just like having my natural ones, you know, kind of mascara it up to blend in with the fake ones. Just gonna continue layering on the mascara. I'm going to wait for my lashes to dry and I'm gonna prep my falsies. Um, these are just the ones that I recently got. So I'm just gonna take the lashes off the tray real quick. And now, we gotta cut the lashes, okay? So get a pair of scissors. For, you know, the kind of lash that I like, I'm going to, hold on, let me try and show you this. It's gonna be really hard. I like to cut off the tiny little part in the front. So I'm just gonna, See, there's no longer that like little piece on the front. Now that I have my lashes cut, I'm going to apply my lash glue. And the lash glue that I use is somewhere Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Adlar. I just take the lash and I just put like a thin layer of the glue on. Okay, that's perfect. And then while there's glue on it, I like to roll it just so that it fits better to the eye. Now I'm gonna wait for those to dry. Hey, they're gonna be good. I'm gonna add more blush. I told you I'm gonna get to the blush. Okay. See? Ta -da! Tell me how your day is going in the comments down below.
if you want to. <laughs> now, I think the lashes are good. I don't wait until the glue completely dries down. I just wait like a little bit and then blow on them a bit. And then I'm gonna go in here. I'm just gonna place it like so. The biggest thing that you're looking for is to make sure that the lash band itself is as close to the lash line as you can get it. You don't want it sticking out or looking funky, so you gotta make sure that it's as close as you can get it. And I'll kind of press the band down into my natural lashes. And I'm gonna stop messing with it and let it dry so that I don't fuck it up. Okay. Next one. Ooh. Okay. Okay. So this is how the lashes are looking right now. Oh my god, they look so good. Okay. Typically, I'll use a like eyeliner kind of gel pencil kind of thing and just line my waterline with it. I'm gonna try to do it with the liquid eyeliner today. Oh, I got a little bit in my eye. Hold on. Uh, I blinked it away, it's fine. Okay. Now that we got the lashes on, we're gonna have a good idea of what to do for our bottom lashes. Pull this in to make sure it looks good. I'm gonna start here. Please draw a line out from the very edge of my eye on both sides. I'm gonna start. That one I made way too long. Okay, this one looks a lot better. Uh, make this one a little shorter. Okay. So this is kind of the lash Lash, little, little lash moment for today. I've been doing this thing that I think is really cute. I'm gonna go in with my eyebrow and blow the brush. I'm gonna take some of the same colors from that palette and I'm just going to draw a line out from that lash. Same on this side. And I think it just gives a cute little like lash effect. I don't know. Um, I also go back in and, and recoat my lashes with mascara to blend it um, with the falsies. Just looks fixed now. Okay. Yeah. Oh my god. Okay. Let me stop saying that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to take this <laughs> NYX. Jumbo eye pencil. Skinny brush. Gonna dip it in here. I'm just gonna draw a little dot on my nose, like so. And then I'm going to blend out the edges of it. Gonna do the same thing on my inner corner. Or on the inner corners of my eyes. Tap it, blend it out a little. Um, like so, and then I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty highlighter, the sparkly one called How Many Carrots? And then I just take a little bit on my finger. I'm gonna put that on my nose, on top of where we just put that highlight on the bridge, on the in a corner and then I'm gonna kind of do a little line of it on my cheekbones and then maybe a little bit up here under the brow I'm gonna add a little bit of color to my lips I feel like they're a little white I'm gonna use this really rusted dusted busted animal crossing color pop collection um coconut Put it in the center. 
<laughs> Blend it out. As a little finishing touch, I'm going to get my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Are you feeling drenched? Um, and now I just take whatever is nearest to me that resembles a fan and I just like fan the fuck out of my face. This is the final look. I think it turned out really well. I'm so happy with it. I hope that you try this out and that you like it and you know, you can take some, some parts of it that you like, add it to your makeup tutorial, you know. I hope you feel hot and confident because you should because you are. So, I uh, hope you guys have a good rest of your day. But yeah, that's all. Thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Hopefully I'll be making some more videos.